people now on Zoom and um, we have one more minute for check-in. So, uh, Lakan Ronnie, pwede po kayo magpakilala sa amin, introduce to us your style and also your uh, experience, yung inyong pagtuturo. Mr. On will also share your uh, links. Okay. So, so uh, guys, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Lakan Ronnie Royce Base. I am the uh, founder and uh, head teacher of Laro Kali Kumuoka Filipino Martial Arts. Um, I've been doing martial arts for like 30 uh, plus years and uh, yeah, um, uh, my, my, uh, my, my previous uh, martial arts uh, are Sikaran, uh, Mungus. Mungus is a, uh, is a Filipino martial arts a style here in the uh, uh, martial arts styles. Uh, here in the Philippines, uh, which is practiced by a uh, particular religion or a particular uh, religious sect here in the Philippines. So I also uh, studied Aikido um, and boxing. So um, today um, I will be discussing two things. First one is uh, the introduction uh, to LKP, uh, LKP Filipino Martial Arts System and also since um, originally um, um, I was asked to, uh, to discuss uh, in, in the uh, um, Agonos Samsundang uh, group so I'll be discuss uh, discussing women empowerment so um, first uh, le le let, me, uh, let me talk about uh, LKP or Larao Kali Pomo. so uh, Laro Kali Pomoak actually uh, is many things. Um, it is a school, it is a uh, style system, and it's also a brotherhood. So, um, in terms of uh, in terms of academic status, uh, Laro is like a university where we offer uh, different courses like Panantukan, Dumo, um, Kali, Balintawak Skrima, even Balintawak Skrima. Actually. Balintawak Skrima is the, the one I adopted. So, Larao Kali is uh, my own interpretation of, uh, of, of Kali. And uh, Balintawak Skrima is, uh, is just uh, uh, the art I adopted. Uh, we also teach sports or knees, uh, knife, karambit, uh, flexible weapons like the uh, sarong or the lubid. Uh, I also teach axe. So, um, the difference between uh, LKP system um, among those uh, uh, FMA systems uh, are uh, around the FMA community is that um, we break down uh, we break down the whole system like if you if you will uh, study Kali you will be uh, taught in the beginning um, weapons and then it will it will progress to empty hands and then you, you become uh, grew after that, right? Like in karate, um, they will be taught empty hands. Then gradually they will, you know, they will um, add weapons like tonpa, like uh, nunchucks, and everything. And they will be graded and um, become an instructor. So here um, we we break down that uh, 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 that kind of method. And uh, we specialize, uh, like we focus on specialization. So, for example, if you would like, uh, if you would like only to to learn empty hands, like panuntukan, then you can take the panuntukan course. Actually, this is this is really why. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, take uh, panuntukan for example. Um. LKP panuntukan is um, also broken down into two. So, other panuntukan would incorporate um, grappling aspect and striking, right? But uh, in LKP panuntukan, we break down those aspects. We, uh, we, take, um, we take the uh, striking aspect in panuntukan and we put the grappling aspect into more. So, in panuntukan, there are still sub-levels in panuntukan. So we have three levels, like the first level, the beginner's level is boxing. The second level is uh, um, 
kickboxing or Muay Thai uh, thing. And the third level would be uh, traditional panantipan. So, in boxing, again, there, uh, there are levels in boxing. Like the first, uh, um, the, the basic level in, in boxing, uh, intermediate level, and then the uh, advanced level. So, uh, meaning to say, if you finish the whole course, the, the whole Panantukan course, you'll be able to uh, to teach three different systems, like conventional boxing, um, uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai um, style, and uh, traditional Panantukan. So that's uh, that's how we uh, um, do it here in in, uh, in LKP. Um, also, um, yeah, same with Dumo. We have uh, we have three different levels in Dumo. And for example, you you will be um, you will be become an instructor in Panuntukan, like spe your specialization is Panuntukan, and after that you want to learn more and um, you want to choose like Dumog, and then you'll also become a trainer in Dumog. And the 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 grading system here is when you uh, when you take two courses, when you finish uh, two courses. It become uh, you become you become group you're, you become a teacher, but you know tagasane and teacher are both uh, uh, same thing. But you know uh, that's that's how we we use the um, we use the term. Like in in I, I don't know for for some they have um, they have yakan they have guru they have lakan guru. So here we we, we just have tagasane and um, um, guru and god. Okay, and um, I'll be the lakan of the system. I, I just use lakan because uh, um, in our co uh, Filipino culture, um, lakan is like a chief thing, like the, the leader of the tribe. So it's not the uh, um, like the black belt thing. You know, in, in FMA, you 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 are a lakan isa, meaning you are a first degree black belt. So here the, it's different. Okay, so Lakan is uh, just a leader, just a leader of the tribe. Okay, so um, yeah, and um, today um, I'm also showing, um, you know, connections and transition from uh, between the different systems in um, in, in LKP system. So I, I forgot to mention we also have um, practical self defense like the self defense tactics. We also have the patpat palad or the uh, palm stick. So all of that um, are connected to to each other. And yeah, um, I, I'll, uh, I have my partner here, uh, Mel, to uh, to show you the uh, uh, to show you the system. I I choose to uh, do a, a a discussion rather than a, a training because you know I I. I'm given only one hour, and if I'll just do, um, you know, uh, that we, we do the training. I think it will be short um, time, and you will not really um, understand the uh, the, uh, the LKP system. So, um, yeah, here this is the, this is how we do it. Um, now I'll do um, I'll do one entry. Everyone knows it. If you are an FMA, um, you know the, uh, the speed entry. Okay. So first, uh, we're gonna show uh, the boxing using the speed entry. So I'll do it uh, slow, and then um, I'll do it uh, in the actual speed later. So um, Mel will gonna throw a jab cross combination, and I'll do the uh, uh, I'll do the combos for for boxing. This is boxing. Okay. So here, I do this one, I move here, and then I uh, apply um, um, boxing combos. So first, this one, I do this one, and then I, I can do uppercut, I move here, and then move, move, move. Okay? That's for boxing. If I will do panuntukan, I'll add a, uh, you know, dirty tactics on it. Like, uh, I, I'll hit, instead of um, hitting the... In hitting the midsection, I'll go for the eye. Okay, so from here I go to the eye, and then I move. I strike here. I move here, and then I 
um, I add some kicks. So this is traditional panutukan. The first one is um, conventional boxing, which we also do. And this one is uh, um, it's, uh, the traditional panutukan. Okay? Uh, if I want to transition it to Dumog, so you will see a grappling aspect on it. So one, I move here, and then I put a jerk. I and then from here, I do the grappling. I can lock this one here, apply pressure here, and then here. So it looks different. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've seen the uh, um, one topic you, you've, uh, you've presented, the same, same, but different. It's the same here. So uh, it's the same with the entry, it's the same concept, but different way. The different method. Okay. Now, um, let's uh, have the stick. So, you will notice the same entry, right? Um, split entry. This one, this one, I I go here. So this is my split entry when I use the stick. Okay, or blades. So, for example, one more time, I I do and then I move and then I can go for um, for my uh, uh, sunkiti style. This is our style. Uh, by the way, uh, we, uh, we are fond of using sunkiti style. Okay? Why uh, why I choose this style? Because uh, for me, I'm um, I'm more intimidated with with uh, cooking trust. Okay? If somebody would, you know, if somebody would strike me like this, this is common. So, I'm used to that strike. So I could, maybe I could, uh, you know, sacrifice something, like sacrifice my hand and um, close the close the gap and getting into the grappling mode. But sunkiti is very, uh, very different. Sunkiti is, for me, is more dangerous because it always go to the eye. So our focus is, you know, even this is actually a female art. Okay, you don't need so much power to uh, to neutralize an opponent okay just a uh, a good technique you know an effective technique will do the trick so one more time so i hit him so it so for for safety purposes i only hit him here but the uh, if uh, if this is live I, i'm gonna go for the head uh, i'm gonna go for the eye so one hit then I have to uh, finish it, um, you know, right away. I don't want to. I don't want us to, you know, go for sparring, like go for for a long fight. I want it uh, to be uh, finished, um, um, you know, early. So I hit him here. I move. I hit him there again, and then I can go for for the eye again. That's the sunkiti. Now, if I will use the um, the the grappling with the stick, then it will be different again. So same entry. If if he will, uh, I can go for this again, and then I'm gonna go for my disarm. Um, why do I um, why do I disarm the weapon? Because if I'm going to do the grappling, and the the weapon is still here, then he will be able to counter me. That's like for example, I do this one, and then I move here, I go here. Now he can. That's. You know that, that that's the reason why I have to disarm the weapon. Actually, in Kali, you also have uh, you uh, you can also um, um, disarm the weapon if you want. The first thing that I did is one and then two. I move here. If I'm going to disarm the weapon, I'm going here and then disarm the weapon and then move and then go for the sub So. Everyone, uh, everybody knows that uh, when you are um, um, doing FMA. Now again, let's get back to uh, the baston dumog. I have to disarm the weapon. So here I can go for here, and then I disarm the weapon, and then I strike again. I move here, and then so this is grappling now. I add compression. Okay, this is okay. So I'm applying compression on the wrist. This is very painful. 
and then I go here for, for the arm bar and compression, two things, okay? And then from here, I want to, uh, you know, uh, make bait. So when he grabs that one, I have, I have this lock here. And this is, again, compression. And then from there, I'm gonna go here and right. Okay, so you can see uh, um, the aspect of grappling there. So when um, earlier when we do dumog, you see uh, uh, us end um, end the uh, the fight to the ground. So same here. So using this one now. Now, for example, knife, okay, so same, um, same principle with the knife, so I, I trust, okay, I trust, and then I go for the, this one, and then I cut, I move, I cut. So see the uh, same, uh, same entrada, same um, 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 starting, um, um, like, uh, how I, uh, how I uh, begin, or how I uh, um, do the entries? in the in this uh right I, I strike so i have this one to my initial block so the block and the uh the block and the uh, uh the offense comes together this is block this is counter right if i pull this one i don't just pull actually the knife okay i i see to it that um every time i i do a movement there is always a cut. There's always, um, you know, um, there's always pain whenever I move. Okay, so one, if I pull, I have to cut. Okay, so this one is already, could be a disarm, right? So one, two, and then I attack again. And then from here, this is not just hooking, but this is striking. So one, trust, as I pull, I cut. And then I trust again. As I go here for this arm, I have, um, you know, I have uh, added pressure on the wrist. And then from there, I cut again. And then here, look. And then, um, remember when I pull, when I move, it has to have a cut. So this is a cut. I trust, and then I cut again. So this is for the use of, um, for the use of, uh, the knife. Now, let us uh, okay. Uh, I forgot to uh, um, I forgot my pat pat palat, but uh, I'll I'll, in, uh, I'll use the uh, pen instead. So pen can be uh, used also for um, for pat pat palat. So for example, he he tries to punch. So one, I move here. So the edge of the pen goes to the uh, to the windpipe or to the throat. Okay. Again, um, I will attack the most vulnerable part of the body. And I, I, I don't go just here on the sternum, but I can do that. So um, here I do this one here, and then look. I then go here, and then I I uh, I strike. Okay, so um, actually, for for um, for the art of um, for the art of panuntukan for the art art uh, in LKP, uh, we really attack those vulnerable vulnerable areas. Like if you uh, if you ladies want to really uh, you know defend yourself, you don't you know you don't use your face to punch a uh, guy's face. Okay. It will really help, especially when you do, when you are not trained um, in boxing. It will hurt. So, what do you, uh, what do you use? Your fingers, and then what targets you should be uh, um, uh, attacking? The eyes, the throat, and the groin, right? And actually, um, when you don't know yet FMA, or when you don't have um, any knowledge of martial arts. What uh, you usually do in a fight is you grab the hair, right? You pull the hair, 
for, for ladies. Okay? You, you seldom see guys, you know, pulling the hair when, when they fight. They, they, they box when they fight. But with ladies, they pull the hair, you know, they kick. So, same here. We use those, you know, you, we use those techniques to uh, subdue our opponent. That it's very, it's it's very effective actually. Those uh, those um, those hair pulling you you uh, um, ladies are doing, it's very effective, and we use that um, actually in a fight. So, for example, I don't have the the pat pat palad or the pen. I'll just doing this one. I'm doing this. I'm gonna pull the hair here. Okay, you have. Um, you have uh, a uh, you know a long fingernail. And you can scrape that one. The slapping, the bitch slap, boom. Okay, and then from here you can you can kick. Or if you don't uh, if you don't know how to kick, you just you just push and then you skip. Okay. Um, in in practical self defense, we don't usually go for the art. We just want to uh, you know. Um, neutralize the situation by distracting our opponent, applying pain, and then we always escape. That's the, uh, you know, that's the, uh, that's that's the protocol. Okay. Um, for example, this is practical self-defense. Ladies have long fingernails. You use it to attack the the eyes. Okay. So, for example, somebody grabs you. Nobody will punch you. Or maybe, yes, uh, it's it's possible. But most of the time, somebody will will, will grab you, and they, they want to, you know, they they, they want to uh, restrain you. So what you do? Just raise your hand. Okay. Never go like this. You just raise your hand. Go for the eye. Okay. So, sir, no. Then you go for the eye, and then hit the groin. So what happens is when um, you when you hit him to the eye, his reaction would be bam, right? So for example here, that's it. And then you kick him to the groin, push him, and then call for help. Okay? Never do something like this. So boom, 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 and then and then boom, and then here. So. He, it's you know in the streets you, you don't do um, too many techniques. This is for just um, the art. But we, in, in practical self-defense, one, two, the maximum technique you will do is you know three, and then you you escape. Now, um, when you escape. Um, how do we, how, how do you, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you're, you're running, right? You're running and um, you, you just run. You, you don't just run when you escape. First, you have to uh, attract attention. You have to seek for help or if there's no help, you have to be, um, you have to be vigilant. You have, uh, you have to be very observative uh, um, while running. Um, what I suggest is you look to your surrounding and um, like um, look for um, an object that you can use for self-defense because you don't know if that guy is still okay and you know he will chase you because of the uh, of what you did to him and the threat will be double because he knows that you can fight. Okay. Actually, this is the uh, um, this is your strength, or this is our weaknesses. Man's weakness is we assume that we are above you, like we are the dominant. You know, we are the dominant person, and you are weak. That's our weakness. Your strength is you. Um, you know, you you let us assume um, that assumption. Okay, so, for example, um, um, he will uh, try to assault me, or you know, try to uh, molest you, molest well, girls. Then you don't have to. Oh, okay, you don't have to 
uh, like fight or maybe um, make some uh, show that you are afraid okay you have to um, you have to play us you have to play your opponent let's say okay okay uh, what do you want then um, yeah um, if you want something then I'll give it to you freely and then you are actually um, like taking that opportunity or waiting for that opportunity where you can uh, where you can attack him where you can defend yourself that's how you do it in, 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 in practical self-defense so it's different with like fighters that you close your fist and he knows that you're gonna fight then okay maybe he'll um, he'll be uh, intimidated but if you are alone like in a dark place and you will uh, got attacked with somebody and you fight then maybe uh, you're in danger I can I, you know I believe that uh, there's more danger on that first you know you give you give what he wants or maybe uh, not giving actually what he wants but trying to find opportunity where you can where you can uh, escape or maybe um, get some destruction or attacking okay so different things okay so that's also one um, uh, one system that we teach in, in LKP okay the, the practical self-defense uh, uh, thing now um, we have also the uh, karambit or, or the axe same entry with the axe the kampalagot Okay, so I guess uh, you haven't seen this one yet. So this is uh, the Kampalagot. So as you will see, based on the principle of LKP that um, we should not waste any time um, with the movement, we should also use a weapon or create a weapon that has uh, many functions, like very functional or many uses. So you can see here that it is like a sickle because there is a blade here. It is an axe, very obvious, right? And it also has a small knife here in the, uh, um, at the bottom. Okay, so you can use it for, you know, for, for the puño, still um, can puncture. And of course with, with, uh, with the hacking. So, same here, of course, if um, he will not attack me with the, with the knife, when I have the, this uh, thing, he will not attack me with the knife, right? So maybe, uh, let's say, uh, he attacks me with the ball, okay? And he attacks me from the serada, he'll, he'll, he'll cut me here, and then I have to really go out. Okay, that's the thing. And I'm still using this the split entry look. As you see, there is a also a blade here. Okay, it's not just one. Okay, so it can also cut. So here I move. This one is a cut. Okay, this one is a because it has a sickle here, it is a disarm. Right? And then cut again for this one. Right, I cut him now for the uh, the spike. I can always go and then I can rip him apart with with this thing. Very very dangerous thing. And like, yeah, we have look. This is the tomahawk, right? There are different types of tomahawk. This tomahawk has a hammer here. But it doesn't has have a blade here on the inner edge. This one is a tomahawk. There's no hammer, but there is a spike. There's no blade on it. Okay? So if you will compare all this axis, this is multifunctional. You know, even the hook can cut. Here, if you hook him with this, okay, if you hook him with this, of course, 
you can hook anywhere. You can hook on the body, he can still turn. But that's just, just uh, a hook. But here, it's really a cut. Okay? It's really a cut. When you hook, it's a cut. If you do this one, okay? But here, no. This is, you know, um, this uh, um, this kind of ox. They use, they just use this for control. Okay, unlike uh, unlike this one, um, this is really you know, gross because of the because of the many blades it has. Okay, so um, yeah, um, we use the okay here. Actually, very con um, controversial. Uh, I, I know you've heard about the abanico, right? Using the blade, so very confidential. For me, um, yeah, it's okay to use the abanico. It still can hurt, but again, um, abanico is used. You know, if, if you have a blade, you use the uh, edge. So um, in LKP, we don't use the abanico when we use the blade. Instead, we use the slashes. Okay? So, for example, try to hit me here. I cut. So, this is now a good thing. Now, I'm changing. I will st uh, um, still go for the for uh, the split entry. So, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut or I'm going to trust. So, this goes right there. Right? Some, some, uh, some will do um, in shadow, in shadow uh, training, they will do this one and then they will do this one. So one, two. Of course, they can do that because this uh, this got stuck here, right? You have to pull it uh, first before you you can uh, use it again. So for example, here I'm gonna, this one it goes through, and then when you cut, then you can go for this one. Okay, I don't just pull. I pull with a purpose, and then I can cut this one there again. Okay, you know, you, you see the, the, the connection between um, those different uh, those different systems. We use only one one entry, and that is the split entry. And then from the split en entry, we uh, put other things on that. Okay, um, I know you've heard about um, Dumog, and again, when you talk about FMA. There's a lot of controversy happening, or you can hear a lot of controversy in FMA. So um, I just want to clarify that our DUMOG is not the DUMOG that they uh, do in the design region. Okay, our DUMOG is is like a mix um, mixed art. Okay, it is um, it is a mixture of different grappling system from different style. You can see Silat on our Dumog. You can see Mungus style on our Dumog. You can see um, BJJ or you know Jiu Jitsu in our uh, uh, Dumog. And because you know um, my principle is I'm gonna use everything um, that could help me survive a fight or that could help me explore um, explore the art. Um, as you know, I am also an artist. Um, um, Sis Ma Maria, she's an art artist also. So y y you know, right? You you know the uh, um, you know how we think. You know how we really love to explore. Um, you know different things. We we are free. We are you know we are free uh, thinkers. So that's that's how we uh, um, also uh, apply it in in LKP principle. Okay. Now. Um, Let's talk about. Um, yeah, you know, I can, I can discuss everything with uh, with the LKP system because it's really broad. Now it is also a style because this is my own per, um, um, personal interpretation of what I know of martial arts. Okay, it is a it is a system because there's a uh, there's a, a lot of um, systems inside it like panutukan. Um, is very structural. 
uh, and also this one is uh, this uh, Larao Kali uh, is also a brother with the family so I don't treat my my student as just a client I treat I treat uh, them as uh, brothers I am your brother's keeper so um, you know that, that uh, the, the relationship doesn't end inside the gym or you know during training they we can still talk outside you know um, they have um, something to, um, to ask for advice um, I'm here always um, I'm here always with them so that's how I really um, want LKP uh, um, to grow as a family so um, yeah it's 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 a wide system um, uh, one hour is not enough to um, you know to uh, uh, to show you uh, all of it so I have to um, you know, <clears throat> make another um, topic like for you for you uh, ladies it's the women's empowerment so uh, le let us you know women's empowerment um, can be defined in many uh, different ways like uh, uh, th this includes accepting um, your viewpoint and making effort to making effort to seek them also um, raising the the status of uh, raising the status of uh, women through education uh, literacy uh, awareness and training it can also be uh, it can also be defined to performing uh, women's sense of self-worth your uh, ability to uh, um, your ability to uh, determine your own your own choices and also uh, your right to influence uh, social change for yourself and for um, for others so for me Women's empowerment is very important because I believe that uh, women plays a very significant role in our society. So your voice should be heard. I believe so, and you should, uh, you know, you should also be treated fairly as um, any anybody else. Like for me, what is the world without women? Okay, so. It's uh, you know um, there's a, an intelligent reason um, why you were created. This is because you make the world a better place for me. And if you know if um, others don't believe that, then they don't believe their wives, they don't believe their mothers, they don't believe their daughters. Okay, they're like limiting. Um, limiting their capabilities to do the things they can do instead of like encouraging them to do what they want because uh, you, you don't consider women like um, like the cook in the kitchen or or someone who who just do the laundries or make the garden no they are more than that and for me one way to, uh, to empower women is through training, through martial arts. You no know, martial arts is will, will uh, can do uh, a lot, not just with ladies but with men. Okay, you you benefit. Uh, you know you you, you, uh, you you there are lots of benefits physically, uh, mentally, like socially, or even emotionally. You know, who, who can say you can you can find the love of your life in martial arts, <laughs> right? Now, but yes, kidding aside. But yeah, uh, there's a lot. Um, um, you know, uh, it's very hard to really uh, tell that maybe some some ladies don't. Don't um, don't want to study martial arts because of the common notion that martial arts is just for men. Right? They, they, they it's it's uh, they they will think that oh this is a physical thing this is a man thing this is a man thing uh, no it's not.
martial arts is for everybody, like for children, for for adults, for for older guys, for women. So martial arts is for everyone. And and uh, Lakan. yeah, Lakan, you mentioned earlier that LPP is actually good good for women. Yes. Can you explain to us in what ways is it um, good for women? What are the techniques or what are your core strategies that makes it so? Okay, um, like what I've uh, um, shown earlier about the uh, practical self-defense, like I use uh, entrada that is meant or that is uh, really, uh, um, you know, this, this is for, for, for women like the, the sibat. That we um, if I will if I will fight uh, have a fight uh, outside for men we used to uh, we used to use our uh, bare knuckle to fight right but you very seldom see that they use the the speed entry and you this is like a uh, a, a female art the panutukan uh, per se is a female art you use this one here so. You don't use power, you just use techniques. Okay, you just use techniques, you use your proper weapon. And on the right target, the eyes. Okay, so when you hit the eyes, you hit the eyes. Even with the even with the first or initial attack, the parry, some will parry like this, bump. Okay, but if you know the principle, um, you know, um, maximizing the technique, here is, it's all, ready a uh, a uh, finger dab to the eye and maybe um, some will not uh, agree but for me I uh, firmly believe that when you get hit in the eye the, uh, the, the fight will uh, you know uh, get uh, too long anymore it could stop there especially um, ladies with long fingernails if you, yeah with the manicure <laughs> No, no. And, um, if you if you got the uh, um, uh, poke in the eye, that's a permanent damage, temporary blindness to permanent uh, blindness. Okay. It's not here, but really on the on the on the eye, exactly. Yeah, the the eye poke. And when you do the eye poke, you don't do this. Okay, this is the uh, um, uh, the common mistake when doing the iPhone. It doesn't have to be stiff like this. It has to be soft. Why? Because if you do this one stiff and somebody nods, you break your finger. Okay? Mm -hmm. And look, if you um, try to do this one, you will notice that your fingers are not um, aligned. The middle finger force this is longer right but if this is like relax everything will go through right and what's the defense for that how do you defend uh, like at the eye poke here like <laughs> like in the movies <laughs> you do this one and then no right so here there are, um, you know, bigger possibility that one finger will really go through if it, this is here. And even if he nods, then it's okay. It's it's uh, you know it's uh, flexible. It can it can adjust. So that's one thing. That's your weapon. Second one, the hair pull. Okay, the hair pull. When you do this. So there's a two poke. On the initial attack, I have a poke. I will show you very slowly. This is one. This is two. Okay. This is three, just to um, you know, just to uh, get closer to him. And then the hair pull. Okay. Use the hair pull. Boom. You can actually go for the ear. If you, if your opponent is like no hair, you go for the ear. Okay. You uh. Um, um, I mean, bon. <laughs> you uh, really, really it's scrape, it's yeah, the, the, your fingernails on that, and then from here, 
from here, you can also use the slap. Don't use the don't use the fist. Okay? Because you're not used to that. If you are a boxer, then yes, go go for it. But if you don't if you're not a boxer, you go for the slap. You know slap? They say, oh, it's just a slap. No, it's not. Look, I'll show you. Okay. Slap, right? Okay. Here. So look, just a slap. Um, hands should be relaxed, not stiff. Because if you are stiff, you lessen the power. Just stop. And then, just by the sound of it, you know that it can hurt. And, what's the, what's the target? You slap him, him here. Okay. You slap him here. Ears. Very good. You, you, uh, you take away his balance. Like, you, he will um, hear the ringing sound. And he is like um, disorganized with, with, with that motion. Also here, don't you believe that you know an open palm strike is could be a heart stopper? Here and at the back, uh, uh, at the back, you can speak blood. Right when when um, we are uh, we still kids, I used to remember my mom. You know, popping when I have a, you know, a, a cold, it's popping me on the back. That, that's not what I, I meant. This is really that, this kind of slump. Laan. Yes. How do you uh, develop your wrist and your palm for sla uh, better slapping okay. um, power? First, you must relax the hand. Again, okay. if this is stiff, then it lessens the power. Same with, with the punch. Okay, for example, I'm doing the punch like this. I close my fist, I'm, I'm tense. When this goes to the uh, target, it lessens the, the power. Hand should be relaxed. The, the only time it will, uh, um, it will develop power is on the point of contact. So same with, with the slap. They should be relaxed. So here, you just you just do this one. That. So relax. So when you um, have this one here, I can. Wow. Oh. Oh. Others would say, "Okay, let us uh, let let's try this. Uh, you can try it with me. Then go on, try. You you you'll see." Um, you know, the effect of a slap. Again, also, an open palm strike to the groin. Remember your targets. It has to be weak. Okay? Don't attack the solar plexus. If you are trained, you know, if you are doing hard training, intensive training, then you can do that. But if you are not, use your open hand. Like, for example, here, one, you can attack the groin with an open palm strike. You can actually grab the groin and squeeze it. For example, um, here. the bear hop. Okay? Women self-defense, bear hop. What do you do? Try to squeeze her. So, with the big guy at the back of you, how can you use power? Okay, how can you how can you throw him if you don't know? Simple. Open hand, open groin, squeeze it hard. You know, um, I saw um, I saw a um, video on uh, uh, in in FB that they use this one. Male, they uh, one one male grapples the other one, and then the other one is uh, like yeah, he is he, he doesn't. Um, he can't escape. What he did is he squeezed the groin, and the other guy cries. You know, he screams. I, I, I'll send that to you know. <laughs> I'll send that to you. You can you can share it. So this is um, this is um, another thing. You go for the groin. Like what else? Um, 
uh, the weaker, weakest part of the uh, of the male body, the finger. Okay, others would do this. Yeah, the Nelson hole. They they will try to uh, do this to you. So again, with a big guy, you can't do anything. You cannot use, you know, you cannot uh, throw him, you know, you cannot um, use power on him. Look, attack the finger, one finger here. It's weak, look. You break the finger. When you do this, really break the finger. You don't do submission like, okay, tap, 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 no. You break the finger and then you strike. Because if you do the, if you do the submission, then um, you give him a chance to to uh, escape your lock, your attack. Then you will be in, in in real danger. Like you are actually doubling the threat because he knows you you uh, did something to him to hurt him. Then you have to pay for the consequences. Then it's difficult, right? So how can you do this? How can you do this? You know, most women I, I know are afraid to do this, to uh, um, to defend, uh, uh, to to, uh, to defend themselves. Why? Why do they have fear? Because they lack confidence. They don't have confidence. Why do the, uh, Why do they have? Uh, don't they have uh, confidence? Because they don't have the knowledge. They don't have the training. So that's why. You know, martial arts is really important because, you know, martial arts will teach you this, um, um, uh, these, these methods, these techniques. And with, with that knowledge, you start to build your confidence and then you get used to, um, you know, this kinds of situation. You know, um, um, ladies are very smart. I know ladies are very smart. They, you know, so, um, the, the problem is um, the fear must, the, the, the wisdom in them. But if they're, you know, one top lady can really intimidate many um, great men. You know, uh, for me, uh, when I see um, women in the martial arts, I really, uh, you know, the admiration is there. I really admire um, seeing uh, women in the martial arts. And um, I really have the passion to, um, you know, um, developing them into a really good fighters. I always, um, I always, even my wife actually, I really pushes her to, okay, you want to be good, then you have to, you know, you have to practice a lot, move like men. So if you believe that this is man's sport, you, then you move like us, okay? You don't, you know, oh, oh, it hurts. <laughs> you know, so just a simple, a tap, oh, it hurts. No, you, you will not learn. Um, you will not learn if you're like that. So if you're in the martial arts, accept that you're going to get hurt. That's, you know, first is acceptance. You have to accept that. And then you become good. And then people will respect you. Okay? They will not, you know, they will not um, um, look at you as like their, their inferiors. You know, in our culture, most, uh, most culture, actually, most culture, um, you know, during, every time there is a war, the chief thing, the chief of the, the tribe will say, okay, um, all the ladies, together with the children, you leave, you escape, you hide. Okay. If I uh, and let the and let the fighting um, goes to the men, but if I leave during those times, that's also what I do. I tell my, my family to leave, but I also teach them. You know, think of this: if all the guys were slaughtered, if all the guys were murdered, they will still seek for the ladies, right? They want to really um, swipe the whole tribe, and if the late, uh, um, if the ladies don't have any any um, you know any uh, training, any knowledge of self-defense, then 
view really gets it. The view really gets that. So yeah, I oh, um, in this generation, um, this uh, these are also we are also in the dangerous times. We know that we are aware of that. Then we teach our family, we teach our wives, we, we teach our children to, to defend themselves because here at home. Maybe this is a safer place, but when you step outside of your gate, then you know it's a different world. So they have to be equipped, at least. So this is not, okay, um, I will teach you because you like it. No, I will teach you, uh, I will teach you because you need it. That's, that should be the way, uh, um, that should uh, be the way we think. Right, so that's um, that's uh, what I believe, um, uh, you know, especially for for the girls and and for the girls. Self defense. Um, nobody, uh, nobody among you doesn't have a handbag or purse. Whenever you travel, right? So every ladies has it. So just look inside the purse and you know recognize um, objects that can be used as weapon and what are those you can you no know? oh okay then let, let us try this one um what um uh, to Arlene, you have your purse you know what's inside the purse what object you can use as a weapon inside your purse Flashlight. Flashlight, that's very good. One. Um, you can, um, uh, uh, ladies, you can um, suggest. What else? Huh? What else, ladies? What else, ladies? I don't have much, I don't have much in my uh, purse, but I, I always have a flashlight. I have the travel wrench. Um, Susie. Susie. I have a pocket knife. Pocket knife? If this is allowed in your country, then go. Okay, then yeah. you can use it, like the utility knife, right? But if it's, it's very not, useful, so. yeah, yeah, the perfume ball pen. spray, ball pen. If you will carry a ball pen, I uh, I suggest that you carry or you bring uh, the tactical pen, or if you don't have a tactical pen, at least a uh, steel steel pen, don't not a plastic um. one. Because it can, you, it can, um, you can get hurt with a plastic pen. If, if it breaks, then you'll get cut with a plastic pen. So I suggest that you do, uh, you know, the steel. Okay? The coins. You have coins in your pocket, right? Uh, on your purse. Coins can be used for destruction. Cards. You have cards. Okay. Cards? ATM cards, something like that. Okay, let's just say, um, let's just say, I uh, here. Okay, for example, you have a card. Of course, the pl plastic one, not the, the, the paper, not, not this one. Okay. Here, this is weak. Uh, it, can, it cannot do anything. But if you fold this one here, you have a weapon. It makes strong. Look, if this is flat, you put it like this, it, it falls. It falls, right? But if you do like this, look, it can stand without the wind. Dun, 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 dun. With the air. <laughs> <laughs> because of the air, right? But if it's uh, without the uh, the fan, it can stand. Uh, can you see it? No. Okay. The electric pump. But again, you can use this one. There's a fan here, you know, and uh, this is light material, so it. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> you can you use this one. Also, who recognize this? I'll open it up. Oh, <laughs> laser. 
Yeah, the razor yeah, for, for the your eyebrow. for your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you can bring this stuff and you can use this. One. What else? Umbrella. Yeah. Right inside the bag, umbrella. And uh, what else? Um, I suggest that you also bring a um, uh, bring um, alarm like a whistle. If you don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, blow the whistle. Uh, there's a um, whistle that looks like this. Yes, I have a whistle. Okay, so you can also mm -hmm. do this one. And you can have that one. And if you're talking about martial arts, like um, uh, Dumog, we also have the Dumog ring or the Mungus ring. So you have, um, ladies wear ring. So this would be good. So this is the bladed ring. Okay. So, oh, sir. Yeah. So it has it has a claw. Oh yeah. Very dangerous weapon and very concealed. Okay. Um, I uh, if you wear this, you wear this inverted. You don't wear this like this. Okay. You don't wear it like this. You wear it like this. Remember the slap? Mm -hmm. So look. So assuming that I have the monk's ring, okay, and then I'll do it with my partner. So every touch I, I'll do, it makes a slash. So for example, this one is slash. This one is a slash. Okay. You know, if I don't have that one, does it hurt? Yeah, maybe a little, but without with the ring it will really cause a lot of damage. One more time. One, two, and then three. See? Like you are very soft and gentle, but... <laughs> but, yeah, um, um, you, um, you injured him with, uh, with this very, very dangerous weapon. And uh, for us, actually, I don't, uh, I don't usually, um, you know, uh, offer or tell this to the guys because maybe it can be used for for you know um, um, for bad bad things since this is concealed when you are like uh, especially here in the Philippines we well, security guards used to press uh, guys so when when somebody press you like this up so here they will fish you like that and they will not find anything but this is your weapon here right um, here in your in the middle finger so again women thing concealment so yeah there's a lot actually in in in, um, in martial arts especially in fma because um, fma is a weapon based system that can be useful for, for, for women. Very, very, um, you know, physically, uh, yeah, it, it, it can really help you if you, it, it depends on, it, it depends on how you train. For example, you're big, you want to lose weight, you don't just wield the weapon like this. You have to do more rigorous training because, you know, um, you, you, you try it. Make an anyo, make a, a fluid anyo. Yes, you'll get, uh, uh, you know, you'll, um, you'll sweat, but not too much. So there are, um, there are uh, systems in, in uh, FMA that you can use for that specific purpose. Like boxing is very good for, you know, losing weight. Boxing is very good for this. So there are also drills that you can um, um, that you can use for, for for that purpose. So yeah, martial arts for me, martial arts is everything. I don't know why why in the school in the uh, academy they don't um, they don't um, you know include martial arts. In their curriculum, I don't know why. You know, values. 
martial arts teaches values. Mm -hmm. Right? We have math in martial arts. Martial arts is a science. Martial arts is an art. So, you know, psychologically, it helps you because, you know, you're, tra you're trained mentally. So, yeah, for me, uh, martial arts is everything. We need to talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I hope yeah, they will listen. Take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, my daughter, uh, Nakan Ronnie, in yes. USC, they, it's part of their curriculum. Um, our niece is part of their curriculum. So but Yes, uh, some, some universities um, um, include that in their PE. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, physical yeah. education. That's where uh, actually uh, my first experience of our niece um, um, in PE. I, I uh, used to study in uh, um, Central Escolar University, so there's a lot of ladies there, right? So uh, I, we are only uh, we only take the the, the our niece for one sem, and that's it. Yeah, that's true. Just for one semester. Yeah. So it's not just actually they they are supposed to be doing that regularly, not just an extracurricular activities. And you know that's sad. It's sad, really, that uh, they're not. Um, some schools are not uh, even including um, martial arts um, in their um, physical education. They use uh, uh, volleyball, uh, basketball, chess, and everything, but not, uh, uh, but not our niece. And you would know because it's only in 2009 that they make it our, as our national sports. Yep. And most and of the martial arts, yeah, martial sports and martial, martial arts. Uh, sports and martial arts. And if you ask a Filipino what is our niece, some will say, "What is our niece? What's that?" I never heard of that. So, and, but it's good that now we are, you know, become we are developing. It has it has gained more um, attention now. Yeah. Because before it was sepak takraw, right? Yeah, sepak takraw. Oh my. And that's uh, very Indonesian. So, Lakan, yes, it's already nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah sorry. I thank you for for doing this with us. I think other people have questions. I have a, I have a couple as well. Um, uh, do you want to address your question or? Yeah, yeah. I'll be happy to answer. You still have a question? Oh, um, when you were using the blade and you said the. The habanico? Yes. It's not with the blade. Can you can you adjust it to be a technique that's blade oriented or no? Actually, yes, but it, it's more like of a uh, um, more like of this. Uh, okay. Right? More like of this. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can still do that one, but you know, um, 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 naturally or normally, instead of doing this. You rather do the uh, the leboy or the circular strike, right? But with the stick, of course, you can do your abadito. But again, yeah. like what I've said, this is not wrong because if I so if you hit him here with an abanico, it can it can still hurt, right? If you hit him here with an abanico, it will still hurt. So it's it's still okay. But uh, what I'm uh, what I'm saying is. When I'm given the blade, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna I, I, the blade. Yes. Okay. Or I will use abanico for for blocking. What yeah. do I mean by that? Yeah. So for example, my my blade is on my abierta, and he'll gonna go for this one. I move and then I cut. So I move this one and then I cut, cut. Right. Very slowly. Okay. Very slowly. So you go out. You know, go to an angle where you're safe. Because it depends. When when my blade is here, I'm gonna go for the payo, for or for the deep. If my blade is here, I don't bring it here and then go for the payo. From here, I'm gonna go for for my uh, um, for my pill top. We you, we call this one as pill top. Or are you cut it? Sorry. Pill top. Pill top. No. Pill is uh, you know different. Pill top is like. This this uh, movement. Okay. Is it a mythic also? Okay. Mythic, mythic, pilantic. These are snaps. Pilantic. 
Okay. Okay, so... Um, also, Lakan, yes. um, about your... I know you have courses online, and ah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think... Um, I, I have I have been uh, a supporter of your materials yeah. and um, uh, for those who don't know, um, I just in my opinion, he's one of the most organized instructors out there. Oh, so if you, you're you if you want yeah. uh, something like that where it's um, clear, laid out, well planned uh, structure, uh, you might want to try. And he also has the what I like about it is he he has modules for these things. So it's easier because you can really see your progress. So he has that Dumog series, he has a Panantukan series, and some things that you I don't normally see other people teach. I really like the structure that he provides. Um, so uh, le recently, because I'm following him, um, he also had some, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Lakan, you also have one where if they complete that instructor series, you even, you know, as long as they complete that instructor series and they demonstrate to you yes. digitally, they can actually go through that even if, you know, across the miles. Yeah. Actually, um, we're, also, we're doing oh, that. Yeah. Uh, we're, 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 um, we're doing that now. We're, we're, uh, we're on our uh, fifth week fifth week of, of our Panuntukan trainer course. We've just done the Baston Dumog uh, trainer course. That, that, that's uh, for four months. And this time, it's going to end in July. So four months um, also for the Pan Intuitan Trainer course. That's why you'll never see me posting um, other seminars because um, we're doing this thing. So the next will be Dumo. That's nice. After this will be nice Dumo. program. But you can um, you can actually purchase um, you know um, our, our recorded videos from the previous um, previous seminars. Um, there's a lot actually. Uh, I have a. What I like about him is he writes on the board and his writing is legible and he writes his his format on the board which just makes it easier just for the kind of learner that I am just makes it easier to understand. Uh, another thing too and I know you mentioned you're an artist for your Kampalagot it's actually your original yeah. creation is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And where can they purchase this for those ladies who are interested? I think, I think some of them uh, actually I saw their sparkly eyes. And, when they saw the weapons. So yeah, they can they... actually message me. Ah, okay, messaging. Okay. You, know, you know the original design? Oh, very simple. You will not like it. <laughs> look. look. Mm. And this is it now. Wow. Nice. Read it. Read it. <laughs> this is very old. This is dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, any anything else? Yeah, Facebook anything else, live. If you guys have one, thank you for sticking with us. Um, anything else? Any other questions? If there's none, we are going to um, end this um, session. Thank you again. And ano pong pangalan ng inyong partner? Ah, uh, Mel. This is Mel. Thank you, Mel, for being a uh, um, the debit partner. We appreciate it. And again, um, if you want to add uh, Lakan in your uh, Facebook, go ahead so you can message him and ask him questions and hopefully get uh, updates of his events or, or classes. Uh, maraming maraming pong salamat. Tomorrow, it's gonna yeah, be yeah. Uh, Dayang Misha de Guzman. She's, oh, she actually, she's uh, here. Next <laughs> in. Hello, Misha. <laughs> Hi, hello, Nen. Misha. Magkakakilala na po pala kayong lahat, ano? Opo, opo. Nen, um, Misha. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Misha's father is my friend, actually, po nung lakan. Ay, wow. Ay, Kuya Ronnie, saan yes, po po. kayo sa Pilipinas? Manito? Sa Paranaque, sa Paranaque. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, very close so to tomorrow airport. morning we're gonna see Nisha. So uh, and, and Mila is actually going to host our event tomorrow. And Paul also. Hey, uh, I so didn't yeah. know someone's Hi, behind Mila. you, Mila. Enjang pala kayo hindi ko kayo nakilala. Kayo pala yan. Hello. Yeah, it's a party now. <laughs> party of artists. Right here. We also have Maria and 
So, Fritzy Christy. Ah, we're going Fritz. to Fritzy. Also for Facebook. Me siya, no? Pwede na tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Mayata siya na kang sarinig. <laughs> May hanap yata niya yung mic. <laughs> well, for those of you, um, I've seen um, Ronnie. He's, he's really an artist because I was um, we were we worked together to buy a hand. So I've seen his work, and uh, he's a very good actor, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Mom, no money. <laughs> Most likely, he's with you when you. I don't young. know if it, if it's if it's a compliment or. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So yeah. You know, thank you so much for uh, inviting me. Over. Thank, thanks for having us, Paul. Welcome. See you later, Fritzy. <laughs> yeah. See you. All right, everyone. Bye -bye. We're gonna see you yeah. tomorrow. Salamat po ulit. Um, lakas.